Hey yo together and very welcome to the Star of Two Crazy Replays! Today with another TVT and it's Ocelot again. This time on Coda Letter Edition. And Ocelot is spawning as a blue town in the left top corner of Coda. Yeah, it's Ocelot. And his opponent, of course, me, the Red Terran, spawning in the right bottom corner. Of Coda, it's Alex Sasha. So, I am very interested in if we see the Blue Flame Hellion build again. I like the approach, I really do. It was a nice attempt, I have to say. It was it was a really nice attempt there. And yeah, it didn't turn out too well, but I see potential in this. I mean, there are builds where you go. Really stupid, just mass blue flame hellions, and you kill everything. Versus mech, it can work as well if you are 4GG and you go for like 30 hellions and two tanks. You can, he can kill a, a army which is consisting of a lot of tanks just because of the of the surround he gets and the huge splash damage. Uh, yeah, we see the the refinery again. At 13 supply for Ocelot and uh, the SUV is moving out again. So for now, it looks like we will see the Blue Flame Hellion build again, but he could switch it up as well. So that doesn't mean anything. He could go for the Reaper this time, for example, or go for Banshee or Tanks or a Raven if he gets the, the second gas early enough. But yeah, he will scout, and this time he's going annoying again. He attacks the barracks, because he wasn't able to get the SUV. Ha! Huh, interesting! Oh yeah, he's really annoying there. But he will lose his SUV if he isn't carefully... Yeah, he has to pull back. He simply has to. And he moves in again, I guess that's risky. Oh! He's blocking the refinery so that I can't get the gas for the Raven. So he's... He, oh, he denies my build completely. That's nice. And at the same time he's get, going for his factory again. Because normally I would get my, uh, my refinery right now but I can't because it's blocked. Mm, that's annoying. So either the build would be delayed or I have to change it up and it looks like I'm changing it up. Yeah, Hellion, Starport, Barracks. Hmm, so I'm not taking the second gas. And he isn't taking the second gas as well, but his factory is a bit late. And he's even in Marines, what is he doing? Because normally he should be at least even or not that far behind. He's he's behind one tech building. His starport is so late, and I don't know why. So we see the starport finishing as well as the reactor and the Hellion and the starport. Could be the Hellion Marine Elevator, but there is no dark. There's no dead space here. I mean, not really. There's a little bit, but it's very unlikely that I will drop right here because I would have needed to to go the whole way around which is not very likely mm, but for now I don't see anything I'm doing just moving out with the aliens to scout and take the watchtower uh, there's one SUV moving out still no command center for none of us yeah this SUV will die okay so it takes four shots to kill one SUV Four Hellion shots without blue flame. And army wise, I would say we are quite equal. And because of the. Yeah, he sees everything. He scans. And is he going for the same build? Yeah, it looks like he will drop again uh, as well. He's waiting for. No. Okay, so he moves out, moves back, sees that drop. And. Isn't really reacting. Oh, those marines are so clumped. They take a lot of splash damage there. And 
the drop is nice, but I guess that can't know that was that wasn't good. Not really a good trade for me. So also a lot nice defense there. And it looks like the Viking is faster than the Medivac. At least without the boost. And there are the command centers going down. And his drop is coming. Ha! Huh. Uh, those Vikings are seeking for anything to take down. Maybe a Banjo or a Raven. Or maybe that Viking. Just in case it chased down the Medivac. Which isn't the case, but those Vikings should be at home to protect the new expansion against this drop. Huh. Yeah, we'll see, they are still seeking for anything, won't find anything. And Ocelot is going for Bio, I would say. There's a drop coming. There is enough at home to defend. Oh! My mistake. I wanted to press the V button for the vision. Sorry. Yeah, does he see it or does he just... Yeah, I guess he will see it. Or Yeah, he sees it. Yeah, okay. And unloads. Will kill this SCV. Maybe even cancel. No, I guess he won't get a cancel on this command center. But he delays it. There's a SCV. Where is this SCV going? You, you should... Ah, there you go. Yeah, you should definitely build the command center. Uh, Medivac still there. Viking on the hunt. Those Vikings coming back as well. Uh, he has to be carefully there. Behind that, good setup for the transition. Uh, he has to be so carefully. The Vikings, the Marines. Mm. Oh, one hanging down. Uh, will he sacrifice those Marines? Yes, he will. Do doesn't want to lose the Medivac. So he sacrificed it, those, those marines to save the, the medevac. Would be very risky to try to pick them up with uh, two vikings there. Hmm, the economy is looking good for both players. I mean, it could be way better. Like 50 SCVs at the 10 minute mark should be the key. Should be the rule, should be the norm, but... Again, I guess in this game with the early aggression happening all over the place, it's, it's okay to lag a little bit in income there. But Ocelot got the advantage and with the army supply it's looking okay, he's getting Marauder, he got some Hellions and some Marines. Ah, uh, the three Viking patrols, so if there's one Medivac coming and he's not getting the window, Right now, for example, right now, boosting, 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 boosting. Then, ah, that that could be difficult if it's not boosting right there. And it looks like we will see a drop here. Two Marauder, four Marines, one Hellion, two Marines, and four Hellions. Okay, that's fine. He's getting the Engineering Bay quite late, so. Hmm, but I got no engineering base at all. And I'm supply capped as well. As well, yeah, quite soon. I will be quite badly supply capped. So the game slowed down a little bit. But Ocelot is getting plus one infantry weapons. And he's getting combat shields as well. I guess he got still ready. Yep. Oh, those medivacs have to be so carefully. Goes back. And the Viking there. Okay, so drop denied. He didn't lose anything, this is fine, he just took some damage on the medivac, not a big deal. He should maybe try to grab the Accelerator Watchtower and what both should do is get a marine right here at those those brushes and maybe on those rocks as well. Then you got the entire map, vision, like a horizontal line to know when is anything coming to your side of the map. It's so important, don't forget about that. And I guess Ocelot is attacking right now. So he will hit. Oh, it's getting spotted. That's good for me. And I'm on the map out as well. So, and I got tanks. He got no tanks. But he got a good concave. If I would be stupid enough to attack up this ramp, this could be go. This could go horribly wrong for me. I'm just looking up and I. Uh, I feel safe. I mean, army supply wise, it's looking good. But I got a tank right here. 
And those tanks are tanking, I got no stim, so this is not a good fight to take. He's moving down there to get a flank and will clean up this entire army without any problem. That was a really big mistake there. So I lost like 4 tanks and a lot of marines for nothing. And behind that I just got 2 tanks and 10 marines. So I guess I can maybe, maybe I can defend this. Mm, it will be so difficult. Oh, this medivac has to be so carefully. Oh, nice bait with the empty medivac there. There's one tank in position to shoot those marauder. Mm, the Vikings will fall. Oh, one medivac. There were a bunch of units in there. Gets taken out there. Uh, Stim finished finally for me as well. And I guess I lose a barret. Okay, and maybe the refinery, but he should pull back, I guess. Those marines are really good against marauder with Stim. And yeah, he is evacuating those. So, damage dealt quite nicely. There was one marine. Sad little guy. And overall he did better than me and economic wise it's looking quite evenly. The only benefit he got advantage is um, he already landed his command center there. Which is morphing Tom Orville which I did not. And he's containing me a little bit. He's seeking for a base right there but there is none. So I assume he's going back. And where is his plus one is getting down there but he needs I guess you should get uh, a second eBay and yeah, there we go. eBay and armory. Well done. And I'm still not moving this orbital command. I'm getting more barracks. Like, holy, how many barracks are those? Uh, five barracks against four. But three more coming, so seven barracks in total. And there's a drop. And there's one marine scouting. Okay, that's good. I got a lot of medivacs there. And I will be able to get plus two plus two zoom. Maybe. Where's my armory? I guess I got no armory. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this drop. Who scouts? Nice scan. I guess the scan was wasted. You should have just... Uh, stimmed in one marine there and while his army is out of position I will drop right here and he's moving out nicely scanning in front of his army but oh this tank mm, gets a huge shot of those on, on those marines but they will take out this tank at the same time he will be able to oh there's another drop in the main base killing so many worker 28 gone uh, already. Oh, that's not good. Totally missed it. Look at the uh, uh, harvest account. That's not good. He lost so much there. And oh, that's not good. I'm with those eight marines on top of his, his production. Yeah, and he didn't ki kill this orbital command. Ah, uh, he loses a lot there. And any unit he is producing will get taken out. Those. Look at the unit lost. I'm trading so good here. He should use those tanks. Siege those tanks, man. Oh, that's not looking good. Finally, siege tanks are sieged, but... Uh, there's a drop coming. He killed all those SCVs, which is nice. Oh, but there are two tanks, four tanks, a lot of marines. A nice flank as well with the conquer field. And he has to pull back, so that was not a good move. Marines are still everywhere. He hasn't cleared those marines. This is huge. He's losing so much here. Finally he's able to clear this, but he lost a lot of marines, a lot of SCVs, a lot of mining time. And with that move out right now, I guess I will be able to kill him. Have a look at the army supply, that's huge. Uh, I mean it's still 1-1 one, one against 1-1, one, one, but I just got a better army. I may be able to cancel the third again. Oh, he has to put back. He could need this tank so... Oh, uh oh. Is this the big Doom drop of Doom? I, I'm dropping. Oh, that's not a good spot to drop. Now he got the concave. Tanks already siege up. He should, should siege those two, but this is dim. And the concave and the... Oh, that's, that's huge. I'm wasting a lot of my army. I mean, 
I'm trading quite equally, but overall I could have won with this army and instead I gave him the opportunity to come back into this game. Uh, there's a tank shooting at this, no, this, those marines. We'll get taken out. But yeah, I could have won with this attack. Instead, I just dropped at the worst spot ever. I should have dropped right here. Or maybe here. Or I split the army, drop here and attack at the, at the natural. For example, but that wasn't good at all. Uh, as we try to save this orbit command, but with the Vikings and the marines, I guess they won't get it. Uh, maybe they will be able to save it, but look at the, the worker count. That's looking really bad. This main base almost dry. Run out of minerals. And I'm getting a fourth base now. Uh, yeah. Uh, he definitely needs to repair this orbital command. Come on, repair your orbital command. There you go. He could need medivacs. I guess with some drops he could maybe deal good damage. Like here. A lot of uh, SCVs are there. And a lot of SCVs are there and there are no units at all. Okay, I have no idea what this beep noise is all about. Uh, but I can't fix it right now, I'm so sorry. So we got a free medivac drop. I got so many medivacs. Look at that, 40 medivacs. Almost no tanks, just pure medivac marine. And... Ooh, I can't fight that. I will lose this fight, for sure. But I was able to take out a tank. And in the same time, at the same time I'm dropping right here. On, into his main base. I won't lose too much there. And I guess he can't, he can't defend this. He got a tank there. And some marines, but... How does he want to, to defend this? I mean, I got plus two attack now. Oh, he as well. So upgrade wise is about 100 supply difference. That's so huge. And I just got a better concave, more marines, more production. Uh, I guess he can't win this anymore. It's looking very grim. I mean, he got this tank. He may be able to defend this location right now. Oh yeah, oh, that medivac! Nice snipe. But he got nothing there at his uh, third base. Those marines are not in position to defend. And yeah, I guess that's it. He will lose this orbital command and he just got this natural. And that should be GG. Nice! Not a bad game. A bit back and forth. The drops did so much. I mean, I, 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 I am not used to drop much. Really, I'm not. But uh, currently, there is some uh, development for me. So I'm, I'm evolving a little bit with my APM and spending those wisely enough and precisely enough. And uh, I found out that I'm dropping a whole lot more frequently and at all. So I, I'm dropping more often at multiple locations. I got a bit better multitasking if I'm at attacking. And with that I was able to win some games I should have lost so hard. And there is one game I will show you, a TVC. So watch out for it, it's really awesome. So even though you think you lost, there is sometimes a way to come back. And I will show you that. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you see uh, see you next time as well. And as always, I wish you a very nice day and 